What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfixie and welcome back today to Slime Rancher. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today, once again, it is time for slime. And what we're going to be doing today is I'm kind of feeling like a nice chilled out episode is in order. Um, so the good news is, is that over the past few episodes, we have successfully completed all of the Ogden Ortiz side missions. Uh, we have his miracle mix stuff for the garden. We also have the Deluxe Garden upgrade, and in last episode, we were able... Oh my goodness me, look at all the fruits. <laughs> we were able to unlock his ranch. So we, he is like, he's basically given us the keys. He's been like, hey dude, thanks for all those sweet, sweet kookadoobas. Kookadoobas, kookadoobas, the, the, the weird fruits. And, um... Yeah, we now have access to his ranch. So technically, we now have two ranches. We are a double-time slime rancher. And the good news is, 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 we actually have, like, six more plots to basically mess about with. So, um, I assume that these are full. Yeah, we should probably sell those at some point. Um, so what I thought we would do is we would do a little bit of experimenting today. Um, because we now have access to these extra spaces, I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six which is quite a lot actually, I thought we would go and we'd actually make some of our own Saber hybrid slimes. Um, and yeah, we're going to go and see the ones that we didn't necessarily see when we were in the wilds. So um, I think the best way of doing this is probably actually going back to the wilds and grabbing some of these bad boys. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I mentioned this, um, I mentioned this, I think, was it last episode when we were looking for these fruits? But I, I completely had one of those moments where I just completely forgot how Slime Rancher worked. And I was like, oh man, are we ever going to be able to make our own Saber Slimes? And although we're not going to be able to make like our little slimes, because the actual little Saber Slime is extinct, um, what we can do is we can breed it with other slimes using their plorts, and we can create our own non-feral uh, Largos. I, I call them hybrids, but, you know, they're Largos. You know what I mean. Um, so one is going to be a good way of actually... Ow! Dude! <laughs> the Hunter ones are so aggressive. I would say that they're probably one of the more... I think they're probably all the same aggression, but... They really seem to be pretty... Pretty much just big old jerks. Get out of here. Those are the stone ones as well. Those are super aggressive. Um, yeah, what I thought we'd do is, like... Start combining them with a few other ones that we didn't actually get to see in the wild. So I'm thinking... Uh, like a Saber Tangle, a Saber Quantum, uh, what else could we do? We could do a Saber Mosaic, now that would be cool. Uh, we could do a Saber Honey, oh, Saber Crystal. Ooh, I don't think we saw a Saber Crystal, did we? We saw a Saber Boom, we saw a Stone, we saw a Tabby, we saw a, um, thingamajig. Oh, i tell you what, just had a, I've just had a thought. If we actually go to, ow, these guys eat meat. So they're not going to be any good. But if we actually find a group of uh, slimes that like fruit, then we could just use all of these mint mangoes that we just found. Well, that's a good idea, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, how's everyone doing? I hope you're good. I hope you... Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I hope you're good and stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much more... Oh, these eat veggies. Oh, I need something that has fruits. What would eat fruits? Um... Would anything eat fruits? Or do you think it's better for me to come back with a load of vegetables? Because I've got a ton of silver parsnips. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Yeah, I tell you what, I think we're going to go back with a load of vegetables um, so we can go and sort of basically farm those rock hybrids. Um, yeah, so I was thinking to myself, uh, do you reckon there's a, uh, a Saber Gordo? That would be so cool. Um, so obviously with the Gordos, the thing is, when you actually use the snares, uh, you use their favourite food, and then that lures in a Gordo. And of course, the different sort of level of the snare gives you the better chance of getting one. So I was thinking about this and I did actually look it up before we started recording because I was super curious about this. I was like, hmm, that actually sounds really cool. I don't think we can do it just yet. Uh, the problem is, is that the, the Saber Slime, um, it doesn't have a special type of food. So it likes meat, but like if they actually see that they, they don't exist technically, if, if that makes sense. Because the whole point of the Saber Slime is that it's like a prehistoric slime that no longer exists. However, you can actually get the, the, the Largo versions of them, which do kind of exist. So like the DNA exists, but the actual slime doesn't. And obviously with the way that the, uh, uh, the, the Gordos work, is that when you pop them, the original type of slime comes out, comes out of them. So I don't think it would work. I mean, 
maybe one day we could just try it. I'm gonna feed these guys a load of uh, thingies. Um, but I need to like rig up three or four of the like the really good snares, and then um, I'd have to put it with meat. The thing is, I I'm pretty sure they don't exist. And, oh, okay, we're getting tars. Oh yeah, of course, because I've I've, <laughs> I've, uh, I've brought in slimes to eat each other's plorts. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we're already up to 18, which is good. I think we only need sort of maybe 20 odd. Um, so this one is like a non-hostile one. They actually look really cute. They look like walruses. What's the plural, what's the plural of walrus? Walrusi? Walruses? <laughs> and they carry food as well, which is another really interesting feature. I don't know why they do that, but it's very, very sweet. Um, so yeah, I was kind of thinking, yeah, that would be something that maybe we could do, but I'm pretty sure at this moment in time, it's not really a thing. I mean, what would be awesome is if they did introduce the, 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 like, the Gordo version, but instead of having it explode like slimes, maybe it exploded, uh, like the Cocodoba fruits or something. That would be pretty cool, but I don't think they're gonna do it. Uh, okay, um, oh, you just ate him! You jerk! Get, get I'm gonna get my water gun out! Hey, get, get out of, get out of here! You ate my poor slime! So out of all of these, oh no, okay, there's still more, there's still more. All right, uh, I tell you what, let's just, let's just eat, eat these. I'm gonna get maybe 20 odd, uh, and then we'll go back and we'll do some combining. So I don't know which ones we're gonna do first. I kind of wanna see quite a good amount of them today. So we just need as many saber plots. I mean, as soon as they start reproducing, then we'll have more plots anyway, but uh, I'll grab a couple more. Rightio, we are back. Um. So yeah, uh, oh yeah, as well as that, I also thought about it would be cool if you could bait the snare with the, the Cocodoba fruit or even maybe like spicy tofu and it would it would attract a saber slime. That would be really cool. <laughs> the problem is if we if we bait it with like, uh, with, with, with um, if we bait it with the, uh, the, the, the Cocodoba fruit, chances are we'll probably just, we'll probably just trap Ogden Ortiz because you know what he's like. He loves them fruits. He goes crazy for them fruits. Can you imagine? If you put, if you put the fruit in, you went to sleep, you woke up, and there was Ogden stuck in the snare. <laughs> oh, that'd be pretty funny. All right, okay, okay, okay. So enough uh, talking about Ogden. Uh, let's actually have a think. What do we want to do first? What do we want to do? Mm, I tell you what we're gonna do. Seeing as they are like my favorite slime, uh, let's go and do a mosaic one first. I think that would be really cool. Um, so we do have baby mosaics, which I do I do like to keep the little baby ones. Um, so tell you what, let's grab. Uh, how are we gonna do this as well? Um, do I have any tangles? No, I don't have any tangles either. So I tell you what, um, hmm. we got one more space for a couple of them. So let's go to the desert. I'm going to go and grab like a tangle and then we're going to go to our new farm area. We're going to make two ranches and we are going to, oh, a dervish would be cool as well. And dervishes are dangerous. I don't really like ranching dervish, but I do want to see the variety of them. So I tell you what, I tell you what, let's let's roll with that for now. Let's roll with that. Okay, we'll come back and we'll get a Tangle Slime next. So maybe we'll do uh, Tangle and Crystal next. Does that sound good? I think so. That should be good. So we'll, we'll try we'll try Mosaic and Dervish. Oh god. Oh, teleporter. Alright, there we go. So let's do, um, let's do one over here. So we are going to be setting up a Corral. And then we get to pay for all the lovely upgrades. So should we just stick everything on? Music box, air net. Let's not put solar shield on it just yet so we can see better. Uh, okay. Cool. So where should we put the other one? Should I do them next to each other? Is that madness? You know what? I'm going to stick one up here as well. That's, that's, that's far away enough. Okay, let's go and stick one up here. Let's do another growl. Uh, high walls, music box, air net, and plug collector. Do we need the solar shields? Oh, maybe we'll put them on later. Okay, okay, so here we go, here we go. Here's the big one. So check this out. We're gonna go mosaic slime, mosaic slime, mosaic slime. Saber plot, saber plot, saber plot. And... Eat the third one. Oh, oh they look so cool! <laughs> oh, look how cute they are! Let me get one of these out, just so we can see. Wow, I think they look awesome! Do you guys like that? I do. I think it looks so pretty. They do look like walrus. Am I alone in thinking that? You know, with the big tusks? I guess you could probably say they're, they're supposed to look like saber-toothed tigers, aren't they? But I'm just going to roll with the big fat walrus instead. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, well, that's really cool. I love those. You know, the cool thing about these now is that if we go with Saber Mosaics, they like vegetables, and because they are mosaics, uh, their favorite one is now silver parsnips. So every time I feed them silver parsnips, which is the crop that I grow the most, we'll get double the plots. Ah, thinking about it, you see? Pretty good. Okay, so should we try dervish now? Dervish is probably going to be the ones that I'm not really going to ranch particularly, but... Hey! <laughs> Alright, you know what? They actually look really cool as well. Wow! I don't know why. It's just the teeth. I think it's the teeth. I just love the teeth. I think the teeth look adorable. Look at you. Happy campers. I wonder if they'll stay inside, because they've obviously got the tornado skill. But if they stay inside, that would be great. I'm not sure they are going to, though. I guess we can keep an eye on them. I think with two, it should be fine. But if we had, like, ten of them in there, I don't even want to know what would happen. We have got a roof on this thing, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Okay, awesome. So there's our first two. Um, I guess we should do another couple of corrals here. Uh, so high walls, music box, air net, and plot collector. Awesome. Uh, and let's do another one. I guess let's just do them all. Am I going to be using this as just like a saber farm area? I guess so. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. So what's next? I'm going to go with... Should we go with Tangle? And then maybe Quantum? I think Quantum is going to be tricky because obviously they like teleport out walls. Or did they fix that? Hmm, I'm not too sure. Okay, let me go and grab some slime. Bum, bum, ba, da, ba. Oh yeah, I put air nets in, didn't I? Echo nets. Oh, don't they look pretty? <laughs> so these are, do you remember like, oh man, it must have been like four or five episodes. It was actually quite a while ago. We did a boom slime firework. Oh, that was so fun. <laughs> I think, unfortunately, they patched it so that you can't do that anymore. And if I remember correctly, I actually did that specifically so we could see it before it got patched. Okay, well, there we go. So we've got three quantums, which is good news. Uh, I've always really liked this area. Oh yeah, and apparently... Oh. I heard that they changed the way that phase lemons worked so that if you... Oh, maybe if you only grow it. So like, right now, if you wanted a phase lemon, you'd have to shoot a uh, like another fruit and vegetable through it and it would drop it. But I heard that now what you do is you just have them planted and you can just take them off normally. I think they made that change. I'm not too sure. I could be wrong. I could actually check this. How? See, this one is this one's definitely full of fruits. But spicy tofu doesn't work. Hmm. Very strange. That might have to might be something that we have to test. I'm kind of curious about that. Okay. Anyway, we've got our quantum slimes. Which I think are going to be a bit of a pain, but hey, I do want to see them because I think they'll look really cool. We are going to have to go into the middle of that vault. Oh, 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 no, we're not. I see little baby ones. Where did I get the little baby ones from? Oh, I'm happy about that. It means I don't have to go into the middle of nowhere. Hey, awesome. Okay, so we've got quantum and crystal. So I'll tell you what, let's do six. Why not? We've got six areas here that we can use. We might as well use all six with like different combinations. So, let's go with... I'm worried about quantum, I'll be honest with you, but hey, let's just give it a go. One, two, three. Let's hide behind the pillar until they go big. One, two, three. Hey! Oh, you little cuties! <laughs> oh, they look awesome. See, I remember, I think they changed the way that quantums worked when they're in a ranch, so it's much easier now to use them. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, to be honest. The only problem about this now is that if I have tangles anywhere near this... See, there we go. Look, they ghost. Do you see them ghost? They just ghost straight out. But, I mean, the main three are still inside. But, yeah, if we have, like, tangles anywhere near those, we're going to start creating tars. So, I could technically... I guess I could put the tangles up here, couldn't I? Uh, should we do that? Yeah, okay, let's do that. All right, okay. okay. Oh, no, no, wait. Before we do that, we've got another one to do. We've got the crystal slimes. <laughs> okay, so here we go. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And hide behind the pillar until they combine. One. One, two, three. Yeah! Oh, I like those. These ones have a little goatee beard. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Oh, man. This is also really cool. Like, obviously, we've done 
28 levels of the 7Z rewards, but if you hadn't, if you're someone that hadn't done the rewards yet, you could be using these new um, quantum plots to like do a ton of farming. So we used mainly mosaic and tangles, but you could also now use the saber. I like the crystals. I don't know which one's my favorite. I actually think the the mosaic ones. So actually, no, the dervish ones are really cool. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So I think we got we got time for two more. We might as well do them. So let's go. I definitely want to do tangle. But it's a case of what other one do we do that we didn't see in the wild? Hmm. Just realized something as well. Do they work with uh, puddles? No. <laughs> I don't think the puddles the puddles don't combine, don't do they? No, I'm pretty sure they don't. Ah, oh, I was hoping that they, they combine. Oh, it's so annoying. What about this? Okay, that's that hasn't worked. All right, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I, I just wanted to test it. I don't think they work. No, no, no. You definitely you can't get hybrid ones like that. I think that's probably a good thing because of the way that they like are farmed. Uh, but we do need to choose another one. So we need a couple of tangles. Where are you guys? You normally spawn around here. Oh, I tell you what, if we go up here, they normally spawn. Spawn! Oh, there's one! Yeah! <laughs> Come back! Hey, there we go, boom. Uh, should we try and find like two or three? I think we'll be good. Normally if you go up here, it triggers a spawn. Not today, okay. Um, anything else? As if I can only find one. Huh. Okay, this is straight up ridiculous. I've uh, I've run around half the map and I've only seen one tangle slime. <laughs> what the heck? Are you kidding? I mean, that's that's just all forms of madness. Normally, you can find these little sausages everywhere. See, like, there's a load of tars spawning now because I've triggered off all of the spawn points. Uh, do we just do one then? I mean, I would like to see more than one, but actually can't get any spawns to go. This is always, this always spawns tangles. Why won't you spawn? Please! It doesn't seem to want to do it. Hmm. Well, I guess we could roll in with one. <laughs> He's going to be quite a lonely tangle slime, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, well, okay, never mind. So we're just going to roll with one because all the game's going to give us today. So fair enough. Uh, and we need one more. We need one more that we can choose. Um... So let's go and have a little look at our board. And let's see what we could pick from. Um, what could we do? What could we do? Uh, radiation would be quite cool. Should we do a radiation one? Uh, um, radiation? Oh, how, how come radiation at 80? Jeez, that's really expensive. Radiation is like one of the top ones. Huh. Yeah, let's do radiation. Okie dokies, let's go and do some combining. Whoop. Okay, so we got, what, two more farms? Um, like, let's try and be a little bit logical about this. What do I not want next to each other? Uh, airbox, air net, plot collector. Um, well, radiation's just gonna be a pain no matter where I put it. So, you know what, I'm just gonna stick the radiation here. Uh, so here we go, rad, rad, rad. And plot, plot, plot. Let's hide behind the little thing. One, two. Was that all of them? <gasps> oh! <laughs> they look so weird. You can't really see their yellow eyes. Oh, radioactive walruses. What on earth is going on here? Oh, I don't like them. No, I don't like those at all. Oh, man. The, the teeth go green. I think that's the thing. Like, in all of these other ones... Actually, no, the teeth go yellow, don't they? Yeah, I'm not too sure I'm too keen on the radiation ones. I like all of the other ones, though. I think, you know what? I've got this sneaking suspicion that I'm really going to like the Tangle one. So let's give these a go now. Let's do the same thing. Music box. And that. Plot collector. And here we go. Tangle slime. We've only got one. <laughs> Poor sausage is on his own. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's eating it. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay, definitely my favorite. He's so cute. Oh, he's lovely. I mean, the thing about this is that his diet is meat, so it's not really going to be one that we could particularly ranch that efficiently because it's easier to grow vegetables than it is to produce chickens. But come on, don't be shy. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, you're so majestic. <laughs> oh, I, okay. So definitely, I would say out of the... Oh, should we rank them? Okay. Number one, Tangle. Number two, 
Ooh, number two, Dervish. Number three, Mosaic. Number four, Crystal. Number five, Quantum. Number six, Radiation. There we go. That's my slime ranch ratings of the day. <laughs> well, there we have it. So, ladies and gentlemen, just kind of like a silly episode here just to mess about and see some of the other Saber varieties that we didn't get to see when we were roaming around in the wilds. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Slime Rancher done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Ranty up!